Welcome to back YouTube channel master auto information in please like and subscribe to my channel watching the video the Eurofighter Typhoon is not just an aircraft it's the symbol of European aviation excellence. In 2025, this multi-role fighter jet continues to dominate the skies with its unmatched combination of speed, agility, and technological superiority. A product of a joint venture between the United Kingdom, Germany, Italy, and Spain, the Typhoon reflects decades of collaboration and commitment to maintaining air superiority in an ever-evolving threat environment. At its core, the 2025 Eurofighter Typhoon is a twin-engine, canard delta-wing, multi-role fighter designed to perform air-to-air -air and air-to-ground missions with extreme effectiveness. The Typhoon's design incorporates advanced aerodynamics and fly-by-wire controls, making it one of the most agile fighters in its class. This agility allows the Typhoon to maintain air dominance in close-range dogfights and evade enemy missiles with precision. Powering the Typhoon R2 Eurojet EJ200 afterburning turbofan engines. These engines generate a combined thrust of over 40,000 pounds, giving the aircraft a top speed exceeding Mach 2. In 2025, these engines have received incremental updates to improve fuel efficiency, reduce infrared signature, and increase thrust to weight ratio. This allows the Typhoon to supercruise A that is, fly at supersonic speeds without engaging afterburners A which is a key advantage in conserving fuel and maintaining stealth. The Typhoon's airframe is constructed from a combination of carbon fiber composites, titanium, and aluminium, providing a perfect balance between strength and weight. Its canard four planes and delta wing configuration are not just aesthetically aggressive but also functionally vital, allowing for superior maneuverability and reduced drag. The result is a fighter that can turn tighter, climb faster, and accelerate quicker than most of its rivals. In terms of avionics, the 2025 Typhoon features a state-of-the-art Captur e Acer radar. This radar system gives the Typhoon a decisive edge in detecting, tracking, and engaging multiple targets at long ranges. With its wide field of regard, the Captur e can scan larger areas without needing to maneuver the entire aircraft. The radar's electronic attack and jamming capabilities also enhance the aircraft's survivability against advanced enemy systems. Complementing the radar is the Pirate Infrared Search and Track IRST, system. This passive sensor allows the Typhoon to detect and track aircraft based on their heat signatures. In scenarios where radar stealth is a concern, the IRST allows the Typhoon to remain undetected while still maintaining a lock on the target. In 2025, software enhancements have improved the IRST's resolution and tracking accuracy, making it even more lethal in close combat. The cockpit of the 2025 Typhoon is fully digital and designed for maximum situational awareness. It features a wide angle holographic head up display, HUD three full-color multifunction displays, MFDs, and voice command capability. Pilots can access navigation, targeting, communications, and threat data with minimal distraction. The Direct Voice Input DVI, system allows pilots to issue commands verbally, reducing workload and increasing reaction times in combat scenarios. Eurofighter Typhoon's armament is as impressive as its speed and agility. The jet can carry a wide array of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground weapons. For air superiority missions, it is typically armed with Meteor Beyond Visual Range missiles, Iris the Aura's Ram Short Range missiles, and the internal Morsa BK 27mm cannon, the Meteor missile, in particular, is a game changer, offering a range of over 100 kilometers and a high kill probability, even against maneuvering targets. For ground attack roles, the Typhoon is compatible with precision guided munitions such as the Paveway 4 laser guided bomb, Storm Shadow cruise missile, and Brimstone anti armor missiles. In 2025, Integration of newer weapons like the Spear 3 miniature cruise missile allows the Typhoon to strike high-value targets from standoff distances, 
reducing exposure to enemy air defenses. One of the defining characteristics of the Eurofighter Typhoon in 2025 is its multi-role capability. Unlike earlier fighter generations that required separate aircraft for air superiority and ground attack, the Typhoon can seamlessly switch roles during the same mission. A typical sortie might see a Typhoon launching from base, engaging hostile fighters in the air and then switching to strike mode to destroy enemy ground installations all without returning to base. Modern warfare also demands information superiority, and the Typhoon excels here as well. It operates as part of a network-centric warfare environment, sharing real-time data with other aircraft, ground stations, and naval vessels. Through its advanced data links, the Typhoon can receive target information from other platforms or pass along its own data, increasing the overall effectiveness of joint operations. Survivability is another area where the Typhoon stands tall. Besides its agility and electronic warfare systems, the aircraft is equipped with the Defensive Aid Subsystem, DAS. This includes radar warning receivers, missile approach warners, electronic countermeasures and chaff and flare dispensers. DAS helps pilots detect and avoid threats like radar-guided and heat-seeking missiles. In 2025, upgrades to DAS ensure quicker response times and better integration with other onboard systems. The Eurofighter Typhoon's maintenance and upgrade path is another reason for its longevity. It was designed with modularity in mind allowing easy replacement of components and integration of new technologies. The aircraft's open architecture enables the air forces operating it including the UK Royal Air Force, Italian Air Force, German Luftwaffe, and Spanish Air Force A to tailor their typhoons to specific needs, whether it's electronic warfare, reconnaissance, or air interdiction. The Typhoon is versatile enough to perform the mission. 2025 also sees the Typhoon playing a key role in many European air forces as they transition toward sixth generation aircraft. While aircraft like the Tempest and Fkas are still under development, the Typhoon acts as a bridge platform, incorporating some of the new technologies that will later be fully realized in next gen fighters. These include AI based pilot assistance, sensor fusion, and adaptive mission planning tools. Moreover, the Typhoon is undergoing several software and hardware modernization programs under what's known as the Long Term Evolution LTE, plan. LTE enhances the aircraft's radar performance, electronic warfare capability, survivability, and integration with future weapons. Some of the enhancements include cockpit improvements for better human machine interface integration of more digital sensors, and advanced communication systems for seamless interoperability in joint missions. The Typhoon's operational history also speaks volumes about its capabilities. From enforcing no-fly zones in Libya to intercepting Russian aircraft over Europe, the Typhoon has been battle-tested in real-world operations. Its reliability and versatility have earned it a strong reputation among NATO and Allied forces. In 2025, it continues to patrol NATO airspace, deter aggression, and provide quick reaction alerts in an increasingly volatile geopolitical landscape. Export success has also made the Typhoon a symbol of European industrial strength. Countries like Saudi Arabia, Qatar, and Kuwait operate the Typhoon, benefiting from its combat proven design. In return, these export deals have helped fund upgrades and sustain the Typhoon production line. In 2025, there are ongoing discussions to expand the customer base further as more nations look for a capable, non-U.S.Origin multi-role fighter with strong political backing. In terms of training and simulation, Eurofighter operators benefit from advanced flight simulators that replicate combat scenarios with astonishing realism. These simulators are updated to reflect software changes and tactical doctrine ensuring that pilots stay sharp without the costs of actual flight hours. The focus on realistic training ensures that every Typhoon pilot is mission ready and capable of handling high stress environments. Another aspect to admire about the Eurofighter Typhoon is its commitment to sustainability. In 2025, 
Efforts to reduce the carbon footprint of operations include more efficient engines, synthetic fuel trials, and eco-friendly maintenance practices. Although combat aircraft inherently consume high energy, the Typhoon is at the forefront of reducing environmental impact in its class. In conclusion, the 2025 Eurofighter Typhoon is more than just a fighter jet it is a symbol of unity, engineering brilliance, and future readiness. Its combination of cutting-edge radar, powerful engines, high-tech cockpit, and adaptable weapon systems ensures it remains a cornerstone of European air defense. As air threats become more sophisticated, the Typhoon is evolving to stay ahead of the curve. With modernization programs in full swing, continued international cooperation, and unmatched operational flexibility, the Eurofighter Typhoon remains one of the most capable and respected fighters in the world. Thanks for watching the video. Please like and subscribe to my channel Master Auto Information and stay tuned for more amazing content about the world's most powerful machines.